drums kick in. That is Dive from Nirvana's 1992 Incesticide album. Track number one, awesome song. Starts off with a very cool bass line from Novoselic and then gets into it. The song was originally recorded in April of 1990 at the Smart Studio Sessions that Nirvana did with Butch Vig. And the first release of the song would be just a few months later in September, and that was on the B-side of the Sliver single. So that's where we first got to see Dive, and then the same version that was on that Sliver single was then put on and set aside a couple of years later. So as I say, very cool Nirvana song. Heaps of awesome stuff going on here in this one. We're going to crack into the first verse. It's got a cool, simple riff that goes along with it. Let's check it out. Cool melody here in the verse. And we'll stop it here as we go into the pre-chorus and chorus of the song. Simple progression of chords here that go together very well. From B to C sharp, G to E minor, and then back to F sharp, lifting on and off that main riff. Goes a little something like this. Then we hit a second verse back into the chorus again, and then we get this pretty cool solo break. From here, the song just goes into a final chorus and then we're done. Pretty simple structure here with this song. You got verse one into the chorus, verse two into the chorus, you got that solo, and just the final chorus in the end. But a lot of cool stuff going on here. Really cool sounding song. And another thing I'll say that makes this song sound so good is the drumming of Chad Channing here. You could be mistaken for thinking it is Grohl. However, as we say, this song was done during the Smart Studio sessions, just before Chab was fired, actually, so this was one of the very last things he did with the band, this song and others from that session. But Channing, just very awesome drumming here. Almost machine gun-like pounding drums in the choruses of the song. A quick example here. So it's very clean drumming from Channing, slightly different style than what you see on Bleach. Different type of song, of course, so that allocates towards different style of drumming, right? So for me, this one's definitely one of my favorite Nirvana songs, like definitely in the top 10. Not as well known as all their other big hits. It fits perfectly as track number one on this album to open up Incesticide right from the start with that cool bass lick from Novoselic, as I say. Cool guitar riff with that F sharp lifting off and on. As I say, it's not as big as the Teen Spirits and the Lithiums and the In Blooms, etc. But it's right up there with those songs for me, anyway. As I say, originally it was released as the B-side to the Sliver single. They actually kept those two songs together on Incesticide, but just flipped them around. Track number one is Dive. Track number two this time was Sliver, so it's just kind of a funny FYI, did you know moment. Nothing too complicated on the guitar at all. Fairly straightforward, but very cool, very powerful song. Powerful, I guess, with the delivery of the vocals by Cobain, screaming out Dive. 
and all the elements musically, vocally, everything just all comes together here on this song. Want to say thanks heaps guys for tuning in as always. Be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. Yeah.